Hey everyone, fellow composer Mike Phillips here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick short video to show you how you could use the Fader Pro, the Fader Pal, or really any of the faders that I'm making to um, use the contact MIDI learn feature. So what you guys see right here right now is just contact loaded up and I've got uh, the 90s retro trumpet uh, installed here. So as you may know, if you've used Contact at all, there's a really great feature where you can right-click a control and you have an option to learn the MIDI CC automation. And so I'm just going to make sure that I'm on uh, the right MIDI channel here and I'm just taking a look. And so I'm just setting it to MIDI channel uh, number one here on port A. And if I just move the faders, you can see how this lights up. So this tells me already right away that I've got MIDI that's being recognized. Um, you normally don't have to do anything at all to get your faders to be recognized by your computer other than plugging them in. Um, so also I happen to have a CC7 assigned so take a look over here even though I haven't set up any automation can you see how um, it's actually doing the volume. So here's the mouse I'm just gonna put it right here and now I'm moving the fader pro um, so you can see yeah, it really actually does work already without even setting anything up. So anyway, I'm just going to set it up now so that it um, controls the dynamics. And I'm just going to right click on here and hit learn MIDI CC automation. And I'm going to move the first fader. And you can see it's already been locked in. So it's really actually that simple to get contact to learn the automation. And so that's going to be true of any MIDI fader. It's not special to the ones that I'm making here. But I just thought I'd uh, provide you guys a little value so you could see how it actually works in case anybody was wondering. So anyway, thank you so much for your time. Have a beautiful day, and thanks for watching.